sunny morning and 20-year-old Nathan Lee is heading out for a bike ride, but steps from his home, Lee is gunned down at point-blank range. The video released by police today shows the two suspects approach. Both are armed with handguns. It's hard to believe anyone could survive such close-range shots, but Lee's mother says her son is expected to recover. He's, they said he's pretty good. He's pulling through. He's laughing. He's opening his eyes. He's doing good. Lee was shot multiple times in this parking lot behind the townhouse he shares with his mother. I hung up the phone, I went back to sleep, and then I heard shots, and I ran outside, and I seen him on the ground with everybody holding him. And then I called 911, and the ambulance came, and I rushed to the hospital. She doesn't know why her son was targeted. He's not into no gangs, nothing. He just likes to ride around the neighborhood, play ball, video games. He doesn't, he's not into that gang because I don't allow them to. Toronto police have identified one of the suspects as 21-year-old Shamari White. He is, he is known to the police. CBC News has learned he has a criminal record. They released today's video in hopes of finding White and identifying the second suspect. Yesterday's shooting happened not far from where 35-year-old Candace Rochelle Bob was murdered last month. The violence, which may have gang connections, worries residents like Lisa Leonce. Yesterday's shooting happened right beside her unit. She rushed to help the victim. I can't tell where he was really shot, but I don't know if he was shot in his stomach because one of the neighbors were like holding down the wood, um, sorry, the wound with a shirt. So I assume that he was shot here, like he was kind of like gasping for breath, like he was kind of moaning. Yeah, it was like scary. It could have hit me or my babies. And then it makes you scared to even look out your window or even go in the yard because you're always thinking something's going to happen. Like. It doesn't feel safe for me, like, I don't like it. Police in the area don't like it either. It's disgusting, it's brazen, it's callous. There's not really enough words that, that can really describe this act. And, and as you've seen the video, uh, just um, total disregard for human life. Investigators are hoping the video footage leads to arrests as the victim's family hopes for justice. They need to be caught and be punished for what they did. They can't get away with this. They tried to kill your son. I know. But thank God he's alive.